Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to color grade your footage for a really bright and vibrant feel inspired by popular vlogger Jan Olsen. So if you're not familiar with this guy, he's a professional skier, vlogger, car enthusiast. I've definitely caught a few of his videos before where they play around with real expensive red cameras, but a lot of you guys have requested how to get that bright and saturated color grading that you see in his videos. Now, to give due credit, he does have an editor. His name is Marcus Velour, and it seems like recently he's hired another editor whose name is Andreas Hem. So I'll leave a link to his channel below for inspiring this if you want to check it out and see what I'm talking about. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate it from scratch. Now, the short answer is, yes, they are using LUTs or lookup tables, which are kind of like preset Instagram filters for your videos. How do you grade and like what is your secret and how much focus do you put on grading? So grading is probably the thing that I spend the least time doing. The short answer is I use Premiere Pro and I use uh, LUTs. I have tutorials all about those as well. They're a great way to save time color grading as an editor. However, if you're not looking to purchase anything in order to create these effects or you want to learn how to do it on your own, I'm going to show you how to do it right within the Lumetri color tab. So to begin editing the sequence of clips I have on the timeline, I'm going to go to my project media bin and I'm going to go to file new adjustment layer. This is going to allow me to take this adjustment layer that's generated, drag it on a track above my clips, and then just extend it over however many clips I want to apply that color grade onto. Because you do have to keep in mind, they're not always using the same exact color grade or the same exact look on every single clip. So what I'm going to show you instead is just a general vibrant colorful look that I think represents his style well and you can tweak per clip basis. So on this adjustment layer, let's open up the Lumetri Color Effects tab and under the Color Wheels section, let's adjust the highlights and the midtones. So let's take our point and click it over to a much more yellow section. You don't want to go too strong, but somewhere in between the center and the yellow area and you can drag it around to perfect it for how you want it to look. Also, I'm going to take the slider here, which represents the brightness or the darkness. I'm going to increase the brightness of that a bit. So it's still yellow, but it's still kind of bright as well, like the highlights should be. Now for the midtones, I'm going to pull them back down to somewhere in between the bluish edge. So now we have that nice vintage cast of blue and yellow tones. You can adjust these slightly if you pull them back more towards center, they'll get more weak. If you pull them more towards the edges, they get more saturated and strong, which you don't really want. Also remember the slider on the left is the brightness and the darkness. Looks good so far and you can scan around to different portions of your clip to make sure it looks good on different skin tones and colors and adjust it as such. Now as a couple finishing touches, we're going to go to the creative tab and you can increase the faded film to get some of that faded effect on the shadows, which you often see in their vlogs as well. And another key to getting a really deep blue sky and blue waters is take the saturation and increase it anywhere between 110, 115, 120. Just play around with it. You don't want to make it too strong. Otherwise, you start to get some weird color clipping on the greens and blues. So we've got a pretty good effect going so far. But as some finishing touches, you can open up the vignette tab and pull the amount down a bit to create a bit of a shadowy vignette around the edges. This can be nice to add some contrast to the sky, but what I like to do is increase the midpoint and feather and round it a little bit so it's not so apparent. So you can see this is the vignette. It just adds a slight contrast around the corners, which looks nice when you have blue open skies. And next, we're going to go to the basic correction. And here, if you want, you don't need to, if you have any basic correction that needs to be done to your shot, like add more contrast or increase and de or decrease the exposure, this can be good to fix some things that might have gone wrong in camera or overexposed or underexposed shots. Keep it subtle here and try not to grade in this menu. This is just more for fixing exposure and contrast and things like that. So from this point, after you have everything combined, you can go back to certain portions like the color wheels and tweak it just a bit so everything looks nice and balanced and to your taste across all the clips. But that's basically how to create that bright and vibrant with some vintage colorful tones in it, color grading inspired by Jan Olsen and Marcus Valor's editing style. From here, you can actually go to the effects control panel with your adjustment layer highlighted 
and right click on that Lumetri color effect that's on there and save it as a preset. So you could save your own color effects and now when you open up the effects panel in your presets folder, you should find whatever you named it and all the different presets that you've made so far. And then you can just click and apply them onto new adjustment layers in future projects. So that's how to create a vibrant Jan Olsen inspired color grading. Hope I'm saying his name right. I think he's Swedish. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to my right. channel to stay tuned for all my future content. Check out my channel. I have some other tutorials on color LUTs and how to make them in Photoshop and presets and all that good video editing stuff. And if you're not following me on social media, follow me at Justin OD Show, Twitter, Facebook, all that. If you want to reach out to me, slide in my DMs, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.